Hi everyone, it's me, Brock from Traden. Thank you for joining my live trading session today where you will be able to see me trade live and watch my PL and understand whatever I'm doing because I'm going to explain everything in details, just as if you were sitting right here beside me and watching me trade, which I believe is the best way to learn trading. So welcome again. If you are on YouTube, please hit that like button. I will appreciate that. And let's welcome our trading room members and start the trading session right now. Welcome everyone, good to see you all here. Welcome our traders here in our live trading room and of course those of you who are joining us in YouTube. Let's look for movers. As you can probably see the S&P starts down 0 0.36. It's a gap down. Nasdaq starts even lower 0 0.45. Some movers are XPEV, which starts down 4%. Coin is down 3%. This could be some sort of a gap and go. We look for that. Uber is down 2.5% right now. It's looking interesting. I was thinking about going long Caterpillar, but okay. it's too spready. Watch the difference between the buyers and the sellers. 80 cents, 50 cents, too much. S&P is kind of going sideways. There's not much to see there. On the other hand, if you watch the Nasdaq, you can see that it's clearly moving lower. It's a shame with Caterpillar. Look at this beautiful breakout. Guys, XPEV under 19.80 for short. It may trigger soon. I'm watching it. The lows of XPV is 1974. If it's going to move under 1980, I think it could run because it has a big gap down of more than 4%. Therefore, normally it should be a gap and a go, which means a continuation. S&P is clearly moving up. XPEV is still is a candidate under 1980. Although the market's moving up, it's a big gap down, therefore likely to continue down regardless of market direction. Guys, SOFY under 1080, it's close. I may not have the time to post it. I'm short S O F Y F I. Sorry. I'm not buying this pullback in uh, in uh, P D D under 88. I will short it. 88 20 cents. Okay, placed my order. P D D under 88. I'm short Sophie S O F I. Stock is down 6% and again it should be a gap and go, a big gap down and probably continuation. It's not a huge mover. Stop is going to be over 11. Meta is holding to the lows, quite interesting. Apple is very strong. It's a beautiful daily too. SOFY could be stopped soon over 11. I'm out of SOFY. Relatively small loser. 
Now, who to believe? The Nasdaq, which looks like it's going to move lower, or the S&P, which is moving up. And Apple, which is now about to move to a new high. I do like the daily of Apple also. Luckily, I did not Looks short, uh, nice. PDD. If PDD will move above 89, then I will short it. Now I'm thinking about uh, Netflix for a short. Under 333. Interesting. Not placed my order yet. Let's see Netflix. I'm looking at the daily of Google. It's down yep. 1%. It has a big, big gap to close. This could be an interesting move down there. And of course it's weak. It could be shorted under 130, 90. This is not my entry to Netflix, sorry. 433. Guys, watch TG, TGTX. Huge gap down today. Stock is down 46%. was it twenty dollars just yesterday crazy today 11 it could be shorted under 1075 posted tgtx Tesla also very weak today. But not much to see on the daily. It's kind of going sideways. First two candles in the S&P are up. Green candles. And now I'm wondering what are we going to do next? Okay, TGTX is approaching. The Nasdaq moved all the way to the highs. I'm still trying to figure out which direction the market would go. Yeah, I'm also targeting uh, Tesla for a short DVG, but I don't have any trend. I'll take Tesla under 264, it's close. There, you know what uh, the new name of Tesla? What discovered it yesterday. Really? What's that? There is a new name for Tesla. Stressla. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tesla's getting close to 264 where I would like to short it. What's going on with Nvidia, DVG? I'm short Tesla. I'm going to short Meta under 315.80. Now I'm short Meta. Nice breakdown in Tesla. Coin has a beautiful breakdown formation on the daily came down now looks like it should continue coming down I would like to short it under 9180 
Posted coin. The market still searching for direction. We had a small pullback at the top. Bought a short coin. It's getting close. It's a bit spready. Okay. I'm short coin. Like 10 cents spread between the buyers and the sellers, sometimes a bit more. Beautiful move in Tesla. Reaching the one point mark here. Wanna see a breakdown under 263 for partial. Good, I've got it. Getting ready, taking now my partial. Just trying to get a little bit more, but it's fine. Again, I don't see much market direction. First two candles were green, we were moving up. Now we have two red candles, but all they did so far is taking us back to the middle of the range of the S&P. So not too much to see there. Nasdaq looks quite the same, although it moved to a new high earlier. Now it's back to the area of the lows. And I have chosen, I have to chosen expecting the market to move low. So I have chosen my direction. I'm short Meta, I'm short Tesla and I'm short coins. So coin lows is uh, 91.52. If it's going to break that, it's going to move, I guess. But right now it's in between green and red all the time. Come on, coin, break down. Do it. Another 10 cents or so. Be nice. There it comes. Which I just touched a new low in coin. made Boeing move up that much today I wonder wow Boeing is extremely extended on the daily I'm still in PDD I'm still in PLTR I shouldn't be shorting a stock that is up one percent But I do like the daily for a pullback. I'm considering shorting Boeing under 241. Let me post that and I'll make my decision soon. Yeah, I want to do that. In PDD, but looks bad. <laughs> Again, it's a bit tricky to understand market direction right now. Based on the S&P, we're just going sideways. However, the S&P is down 0.26% right now. So more likely to come down Outcome. than up. And the Nasdaq is clearly pointing lower after trying to move over the highs, actually moving over the highs and failing. So again, I guess we're more likely to come down. Tesla's moving nicely to a new low. Thought, I mean, I wanted to find a place where I would add in Tesla for my short trade, but not really much of a pullback after it triggered. Just kept coming down. The S&P is now closer to the highs than to the middle of the range. If it's going to move higher from here, I'm going to be in trouble with Meta, which is likely to follow. Not sure though, coin will follow. Coin could come down. Coin is down 7%, therefore likely to continue without any market help. 
and meta is only down 0.77 which means it's likely to follow the S&P 500 Okay, PLTR is jumping, which is great. I'm still interested in Boeing under 241. I'm short Boeing. And coin new low, good. Meta's giving me some trouble. Stop should be over 317, but I don't want to stop it before I see clear market direction or small pullback in Tesla, in Meta. The S&P, another green candle, we are approaching the highs. My only loser, S-O-F-Y, I, just moved under the lows. TGTX, um, let's take a look here. No, I don't think I like it anymore. It's going sideways for too long and I don't have much experience with this stock. Never traded it, I believe. You know what, let me see. Just going sideways for too long. I don't really trust her, trust the stock to make a big move. Should have done so long time ago. He did not. I'm a bit concerned that, oh, look at the S&P. What a spike up, a crazy spike up. Yes, it's following. We just moved over the highs. Okay, uh, Meta did have some pullbacks here during this uptrend so if it's gonna move over 317 I'll be out actually 316.80 I'll be out guys I'm gonna add to Tesla short under 263 the spike up in the S&P pushed up Tesla and I guess that means it gives me an opportunity to add. About to add, adding now to Tesla short. Not much size, not taking a risk. I've got a green trade. I don't want it to turn red. S&P is holding the uptrend, definitely holding. Now it's very clear. And you can see that uh, coin is not really following the market, which is good. Normally when, when you short the stock, you want to short the stock, which is Picking, it, picking its own direction, when the stock is down like corn today, more than 7%, it's likely to continue and there we go, we just hit a new low. With Tesla, I'm a little bit more worried because Tesla is down just 1.6% and I'm definitely worried with Meta because Meta is down just 0.7%. I'm not. A, I don't agree with Mayor. I don't think the S&P is clearly moving up. I mean, Mayor, do, what, what do you think this candle will end? I think we're going to see it failing. That's my bet. Listen, I hope I you're think we're right. Going to see it failing. But normally, when you you have such a big green candle, there will be a pullback, and there was a pullback, and and now you can see that we are again moving closer to the highs. So I guess we're going to continue higher, and there we go. Almost touching the highs now in the S&P, and now I can also see that uh, the Nasdaq is joining. Coin is holding to the downtrend. It looks great. On the other hand, Meta. I'm going to have to stop it. I'm stopping it now. I'm out of Meta. Good. Coin. One dollar. 
getting ready for a partial taking now my partial in coin Stoker was uh, most worried of is was meta I'm out of meta right now but you can see that uh, once the S&P started moving up meta immediately responded on the other hand you can see that uh, Tesla is not so happy to respond because it's down 1.5% it's trending lower it's relatively weak in the case of meta it came up with the market really quick coin did not respond almost at all because it's down 8% with Boeing I think it's a different game because of the daily of Boeing if you watch the daily of Boeing you can see how extended it is I mean the last few days it really popped up from around $212 to $243 so I guess this could be a reversal day could be it's a dangerous game I'm playing here but so far it's proving right I just needed to move under 244 partial Wow, look at Roku. If I remember correctly, the daily is very extended. Yes, it is. Oh, look at the daily. I want to show that. Look at this huge upside move in Roku. No wonder it's coming down. It's a pullback day. It's down 1.7%. I did now remember I saw it pre-market time. I really liked it. regardless of market direction it could definitely come down short opportunity could be under 94.30 I'm posting it in the room Stop is likely to be one point, maybe less. Okay, Boeing, come on, just move under 340. Be nice. Here comes Boeing, very close to my target point, just under 240. Sellers at 240 right now, good. We're about to come down. There we go. Touching under, I want to see some, a little bit more little bit more good sellers are coming down 86 cool getting ready for a partial in Boeing now let's see another spike down a nice spike down about to take my partial at any sign of a pullback good sellers at 70 67 let's go Boeing let's go this turned out to be oh look at <laughs> this Boeing is crashing this Boeing is crashing very nice just for all the followers in this room wow, and on YouTube Mayer is talking about the stock of Boeing Boeing stock <laughs> is falling I was, okay I was flying a Boeing today I'm in Cyprus now Yogi I was flying a Boeing today from Italy to Cyprus but my Boeing did not crash this Boeing is crashing Oh, that's amazing. Actually, yeah. That's amazing. I'm getting more than a point. I mean, I was looking for one point. I've got now one, 2.5. Look at it go. And Tesla. Crazy. Now, took my partial in Boeing. Actually going to cover some more. I don't, I don't really trust it to continue now. Covering some more. It's a beautiful downside move. And look at Tesla. It looks beautiful. I'm not going to add again to Tesla, but uh, this is definitely a beautiful declaration of Tesla that it wants to continue down. And it is helped by the market. So I guess, Yogi, it looks like you could have been right. Wow, look at coin. I'm getting ready to cover some more in coin. I'm getting ready to cover some more in coin very soon. Oh, look at this beautiful red candle in the S&P. And Tesla. Thank you, Tesla. I'm getting ready to cover some more in Tesla now. 
covered more. About to cover some more in coin. Covering now. Well, traders, just 45 minutes into the trading session today and look at the results. I'm up more than $10,000 with several winners. The amazing one, of course, Boeing. Look at the way it came down. The reason I traded Boeing again is based on the daily. Just take a look at the daily here. You can see that it made a huge upside move. And normally when stocks are moving that much, they are about to lose some ground and start probably a big pullback. So this is probably the pullback day of Boeing. You can already see the topping tails over here. That was my main reason really for shorting Boeing and it really worked out. But I'm also helped by the S&P, which just moved to a new low. So the S&P started in red today. When it starts in red, you should always consider a continuation. I mean, it's more likely to continue, but it kind of tricked me. It moved up. That's why Meta became a loser. Look, I've got a loser in Meta and I bet that if I'm going to open up Meta now, let's do that. I bet it came down and look at it. It is coming down, although moving up because Meta is likely to move with the S&P 500. Some stocks are not likely to move with the S&P 500. For example, Coin, which is down now more than 9%, is likely to continue down without any market direction. And Tesla proved to us Initially, that it was weak, it's down more than 2% right now. So it also is moving down regardless. I mean, right now it's helped by the market uh, direction. So it's a very nice day. Although I started with one loser in SOFY, I just turned everything around with several winners and over $10,000 in just 45 minutes. And I want to thank you for watching. And if you are in YouTube, just hit that like button for us. I really appreciate that. It helps our channel and there's plenty of links right here below if you want to join us. Free trading room for 14 days. All the stocks I traded today were posted live in my trading room. You're very welcome to join that. So thank you again and I'll see you in my next video.